Twingate is a remote access solution built on a zero-trust architecture. Twingate allows you to replace your VPNs and securely access your private networks, whether they're in the cloud, on-prem, or at home. Hey, good afternoon, everyone. This is Emil here. I'm the Principal Product Specialist here at Twingate. And this is Shri here. Uh, I'm a DevOps Content Manager, and this week's show will focus on how to start using Terraform if you have already started using Twingate. We see a lot of customers who will start deploying things in AWS naturally or GCP. They'll also adopt a solution like Twingate to protect their private resources. And then somewhere along the line, um, they realize that actually managing all of this in Terraform uh, has its advantages. So we're not gonna today look at all what those advantages are, but we are going to look at how can you start using Terraform if you've already deployed Twingate. Uh, it's not it's not exactly uh, an unmanual effort, but we've streamlined it a bit. Okay. So Emerald, uh, if we can start out quite basic, can you help me understand what Terraform is? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, Terraform is essentially uh, some software that allows you to define uh, in code various bits of infrastructure that you need in most modern technology stacks. To give you an example, most of the time you might need a virtual machine for something. Terraform lets you sort of specify that you require a virtual machine, specify some parameters, etc. <clears throat> and what you end up with is a configuration file that can be reproduced. So if I need to redeploy my infrastructure, it's reduced down to a repeatable step. It can be audited because people can look at what that file contains and make sure that it's correct. And generally it's easier to manage infrastructure than the way things used to be done, which was you know, using run books and um, keeping Word documents full of uh, steps required to recreate things. Okay, got it. And um, why would I want to use Terraform beyond some of these alternatives, like you said, the Word doc or any other existing alternatives? Well, the, the truth is that, you know, Word documents become out of date, infrastructure changes move faster than the documentation. And so uh, there's a lot of advantage to be able to define something in a text file that sort of essentially acts as documentation. Anyone who can read that configuration file can instantly see what it's doing and they can make copies of that infrastructure for development, testing, production environments, to reproduce issues, et cetera. Those are all things you can't do with traditional methods, uh, especially because those methods are time consuming. If you think about how long it takes to just go into Cloud Console and provision a VPC and subnets and configure them correctly and make sure that it's exactly the same as some other environment, it's an error prone, time consuming task that can be avoided with Terraform. Okay, amazing. And what if I've already deployed Twingate and I want to start using Terraform? That's actually come up a few times amongst our customer base, and it has been a bit of a pain point, which we're going to look at how we can address today. <clears throat> so essentially, when you start defining things in Terraform, it doesn't necessarily know what, what items that you're defining in that script file already exist. And the real headache is when you start creating resources, say in Twingate, you've deployed remote networks and resources and groups. How do you then reference them from within a, a new Terraform file? Because I don't want to recreate those items. So today, the experience, or up till today, the experience has been quite challenging because you have to manually type out a configuration file that basically represents what you already have. And then you have to manually go through and do something called Terraform import to import all of those resources. Okay, great. And would you mind actually showing our viewers how to go about doing this? Yes, we have a demo prepared. Uh, let me just get my screen share going. Here we go. You can see that every Twingate remote network has a corresponding entry in, in Terraform, okay? So these are things that you would have had to type out manually if you had wanted to start using Twingate. And if I look at the size of this file, 
I mean, it, it does include everything you, you might not need to, um, but you know, it's several hundred lines long. The second step of this is how to tell Terraform that not only is this the configuration, but to link it to the existing resources that have been defined. And for that, uh, we have, go into the directory, a little script file called import twingate. If you're on Windows, it will output a bat file. Let me just show you the contents of this file. It just runs a bunch of Terraform import statements that will basically link the resources in the configuration file that was generated to the public identifiers of those resources in Twingy. So if I do this, uh, Terraform uh, uh, import Twingy. I need to Terraform in it first. So we initialize the Terraform script, and now I should be able to import all of these resources. And what this is doing is basically going through each resource that's been defined in Terraform and linking it to uh, the, ex the existing resource inside Twingate. What we can look at next time is how we can then start building infrastructure around this. So how can we link these connectors to AWS? But today I just wanted to show how we can import these resources. Okay, great. Thanks for that today, Emeril. Um, again, everyone, thanks for joining us this week. Hopefully you found today's show useful. Feel, please feel free to shoot over any follow-up questions to us or any other topics you'd like to see addressed in future shows. See you next week.